How's it going, fam? Erica back with the essentials. And today we're doing some testing of the LT Wright Frontier Valley in A2 Tool Steel with natural micarta scales. I'm just prepping some dog food right now. So I figured I would record it because I think this knife is a really good all around knife, including in the kitchen. So I already started and then I remembered I should probably film it, but we're just gonna process some of these um, fresh vegetables from the farm and it's gonna go into dog food. Um, excuse the dirty hands, I've been outside all day and it's just, it's just fucking dog food. I swear I wash my hands uh, if it's human food, <laughs> but kind of in a rush today. So just figured I would turn the camera on we have some honey nut squash, which is a baby version of butternut. And we have some sweet potatoes. I'm just gonna cut them up and mix them with some meat for the dogs and that'll be their, their meal. But I am absolutely adoring this fixed blade so far. This is like a really incredible all around utility EDC fixed blade. It is a tool steel, so we have to be uh, a little careful, whoops, a little careful of corrosion, but I have found that A2 is more corrosion resistant than like the higher carbon steels. So I haven't had a problem with the, with this particular steel corroding, but uh, just figured I would mention it. Make sure you clean off your blade, wipe it off, and make sure it's dry before you put it into the sheath if you use it for a moist task like this. Cool. Now, I actually leave the seeds in for my dogs pumpkin seeds, squash seeds, anything of the like. They are great natural dewormers and natural worm preventatives for the digestive system of a dog. So I actually leave those in there. No, my dogs do not have worms. I just, I just leave them for the reasons I just said. Also, I'm not a vet. I'm not a canine nutritionist, anything like that. So, um, just throwing that out there. Just, just saying what I do with my dogs. But, uh, yeah, I leave I leave the seeds in there. It's a good gut cleanser for them. This stuff is stringy. But how is uh, how's your day, guys? What are you up to? Are you at work today? Do you have the day off? Any fun plans this weekend? Let me know down in the comments. What are you carrying? I always love reading the comments and seeing what you guys are up to and what you what you have on your person today. Oh, I gotta get a bowl for these. It's always fun to, to read, at least for me. I have the day off today from work, but uh, technically there are no days off in life, right? No days off. So I've been busy fixing the fence all day because little Romy is continuously trying to escape and she digs holes. So I've been um, fixing fences all day and trying to get her to stop fucking escaping. So yeah, I really, I really enjoy this knife. I feel like this is just the perfect little EDC fixie in every sense, guys. I mean, I don't understand why there aren't more videos on this and why more people haven't, like, 
tested and reviewed it. I mean, this is, this thing is just incredible. It can do literally anything you throw at it. And it's so cheap. $109 shipped from LT Wright with a sheath. And it's less if you get it without a sheath. Unbelievable. I've always been a fan of LT Wright knives. I've been using them, goodness, since I was a teenager. Absolutely. I've had so many LT Wright knives. There's just not really anything like them. They're fantastic. And they have so many, so many models, like, there's basically something for everyone. But definitely worth checking out. And this thing is tiny. In a good way. It performs like a full-size knife, but it carries much smaller. It's very lightweight. Just beautiful. I'll do a size comparison with the Para 3, because I know everyone knows the size of the Para 3, so I'll do a quick size comparison with that in a minute, because I have that in my pocket. But yeah, if you're looking for a small EDC fixie, highly suggest this one. I've been testing it for about a month now. Let's bring out the uh, pair of three here. Very similar in size. The pair of three I, is actually longer, I think. Yep. The pair of three is a hair longer. So... This is very, very small. Incredibly small. Which is awesome. Look, the dogs are like, they, they know that I'm making them food, so I was like, hmm, maybe I can help a little bit. Okay. Get another one of these. You could even get this as a Christmas gift for yourself. <laughs> I'm going to try to make a holiday gift guide this week of, like, sweatshirts, EDC gear, maybe some dog gear, just a couple, like, really cool items that I think would be great gifts that I've been testing lately. So that will be a fun video to make. I was going to do it today, but um, Romy had to try to escape 8,000 times, so I have literally just been working outside all day long. But maybe... Maybe Saturday I can film it, get that up for you guys, because it's getting close. Christmas is right around the corner, so I really need to get that out so you guys can do your holiday shopping. But, if you want to get yourself a little gift, buy yourself an LT Wright Frontier Valley. I also have a, a hair that the dogs caught that I will process with this, I think. I think that'd be a cool video. Because I genuinely think this can do everything. From game processing, to food processing, to EDC tasks. I want to do some woodwork with it. Like, I'm really starting to think this might be an all-around absolute beast of a knife for everything that you throw at it. I don't see how it wouldn't be able to do any of those things. So, I'm going to try to get some some good content on that. I 
And somebody asked the other day in the comments if I was doing like a reset with the collection and if I'm going to start buying knives again. And uh, absolutely not is the answer. <laughs> um, I think people, some people like, they must miss some of my videos because I already explained what was happening with that. But I know that like if you upload more than two videos a day or something or more than two videos within 24 hours, like YouTube won't tell your subscribers that you uploaded so I, I i have heard from at least two dozen people that they've been missing some of my videos lately because used youtube is not telling them that i uploaded so people are missing context and a lot of stuff but um no i am not resetting my collection and buying new knives i'm not doing that uh, I do not have the finances for that, and I also just don't have any interest in, like, buying any new knives, really. Like, there are a couple that are cool that I would like to get one day, but, like, I, I am not buying any more knives. And a lot of stuff that you guys see on the channel is sent in from viewers. Uh, people lend me things, people give me things. Uh, I mean, I have an entire box of knives that are going to be on the channel for testing that are not mine. They're from a viewer that sent them in for testing and for review and all that stuff. So, like, just because you guys see knives on the channel that you've never seen before, it does not mean that they're mine, and it does not mean that I bought them at all. Uh, yeah. We have flashlights coming in for review at the beginning of the new year as well from a viewer so you guys will see a lot of new stuff on the channel but um i am not we we just don't have the money for that kind of stuff for ourselves right now i mean um yesterday nicole's entire heating system in her camper shit the bed uh the propane tanks are full it is just literally not working it it like will turn on if we mess with the thermostat and blow cool air. And thank God that this week in New Hampshire, it's like high 30s and low 40s, uh, which for us is very warm. So, like, the having no heat in her camper isn't that big of an issue right now. But over the weekend, it's going to dip down into the low 30s and we kind of need that heating system to work. So, um, we're fucked. <laughs> I don't know how to fix it. We've tried literally everything. We're going to try to have... Um, the old owner of her camper come through and see if he can help us because we literally don't know how to fix it and it's just blowing cold air and it won't convert it to hot air so yeah we just we don't have money to buy new gear for the channel to test and review like things like that with the campers pop up all the time because in essence they're, they're not supposed to be lived in they're a recreational vehicle and that you're not supposed to be like living in a fucking camper so that the amenities that come with them are just not built for full-time use and her camper was built in like 89 or something so um although it was fully renovated things pop up you know like we don't have money for new gear for the channel because these campers just drain our funds and you never know what's going to happen like literally just out of the blue her heat stopped working we messed with everything we took the exhaust apart we took everything apart and it's just blowing cold air and it won't blow hot air so it's like you have to have you, you there's just no extra money to do anything like you have to have money set aside for things like that and um because you never know when that's going to happen you never know when something's going to crap the bed and in new hampshire where it's gonna get really freaking cold you cannot risk not having heat you will die you will die of hypothermia if you do not have heat in your camper so that's going to get fixed very quickly. <laughs> but, dog food there. This will get mixed with some meat, bones, organs, all that good stuff. LT Wright Frontier Valley did just a beautiful job on that. This knife is everything I want in a knife. There is not a single thing about this knife that I would change. Nothing. I don't know if you noticed, but I was doing a couple different um, holding methods of this while I was using the knife. Everything on this is comfortable. This is an essential. This is an EDC essential. 
and a collection essential. 100%. Mr. Bibbs says he is ready for food. Oh, Zaya's here too. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Go use your shit. Live your life. And I will see you on the next video. Love you all.